Hello everyone. So today I wanted to talk about the Integrated World Terrain Editor. Now this is a must-have tool if you want to mod a Total War game like Total War Rome Remastered or Rome Total War or Medieval 2. And I'm sure a lot of modders already know about this uh, tool and they're already aware of everything it can do, but I think a lot of people don't uh, quite know exactly what tools modders have to work with and a lot of people uh, for a lot of people who want to get into modding they don't exactly know how because they are not aware of all the different tools that are available to modders and I'd say that of everything I had to utilize in order to port chivalry from the original Rome Total War to Rome Remastered this was the most important tool the integrated world terrain editor so iwte and this was this tool is by uh, wild dog so thank you to him for his incredible work on this tool i have to say now this tool really does it all it does quite a few things so in the tabs up at the top here i know it might seem a little intimidating at first but it you know, I haven't used it for all of these different tasks, but I have used it for some important tasks, including porting the map. Uh, so porting maps from Rome Total War or Medieval to Total War are possible. Porting them to Rome Remastered, that is. Uh, totally possible using the IWTE tool. So uh, we're going to talk about that in just a moment, but I wanted to quickly go over a lot of the other uh, functions this tool has. So uh, you can edit all, uh, most of the functions, I have to say, are, uh, they have to do with Medieval 2, right? So Medieval 2 world files, and I'm not a Medieval 2 modder, so I'm not aware of all this. So if you are interested in modding Medieval 2, uh, you need this tool. I'm just going to tell you that. Um, so all kinds of image editing, conversion, this... Uh, this tool does it all. It also does compression, right? So a single TGA to texture, and then with MIP maps, no MIP maps. Uh, a lot of people might not know what that is, but it's pretty incredible what this tool can do. So if we go to models here, this one is a little more important, or not important, but important for me. Uh, so when you have to edit models, uh, Rome Total War and Medieval 2, if I'm not mistaken, utilize dot cast files for models right so uh, and those dot cast files you either have to have a particular plugin for 3ds max or uh, you can use blender and with this tool you can convert the cast files to dae right to dae and dae is colada which is the well one of the file types that works well with blender so you can convert Medieval 2 CAS or Rome Total War CAS or Rome Remastered CAS to DAE. And then you can edit the model in Blender. And it's pretty much that simple. Uh, once you convert, once you convert the uh, CAS file to DAE, IWTE will save it in a folder within the IWTE installation called IWT, uh, IWTE save. And then, um, Basically, everything you create will be saved there, including maps, uh, models you've ported, things of that nature. And I'll, I'll, I will show you that directory in a little bit. And you can do a lot of Medieval 2 settlement editing with this tool as well. Uh, and that's pretty nice indeed. You can't do Rome Total War settlement editing. Rome Total War settlement editing is uh, different from Medieval 2, so it doesn't quite translate. But you can... Uh, convert uh, Colada files to uh, CAS files uh, for buildings as well for Rome Total War. So in that sense, you can use IWTE for settlement editing in terms of editing uh, buildings and converting building models. Um, other than that, uh, you can uh, reset complex blocks. I don't know what that is. Uh, but when you go to Rome Remastered, you can actually uh, extract compressed textures. So a lot of people 
are not aware that you know the reason you can't open a lot of the textures in Rome Remastered with GIMP right away is because a lot of them are compressed. And you can uncompress them with uh, IWTE and then open them after doing that. And of course there is, uh, of course, IWTE task. And using this, you can actually run a bunch of tasks that are within their own text files in the IWTE folder. And um, I will show you these in just a second. So give me just a second to open up that page. So here we are in my IWTE folder. And you can see there are quite a few things here, including IWTE save and IWTE tasks and uh, map mesh. So uh, I'm going to talk about porting maps to, uh, from the original Rome Total War to Rome Remastered or from Medieval 2 to Rome Remastered. It's the same principle. So IWTE has this example tasks processes file. And this file includes a lot of sample tasks. So basically in my tasks folder here, I have uh, several folders and subfolders with tasks. Uh, so my important task was to port maps, right? So I created uh, I created maps utilizing this IWTE create map pieces task. Okay, so let me quickly uh, show this to you. All right, so I've opened my uh, task here. And of course, you can see directory in and directory out. So directory in is actually where I have the original chivalry map, uh, including all of the map files, right? So this includes uh, the important ones are map heights, map regions.tga, uh, ground types.tga, uh, .tga, climates, tga, and features tga. So you need a map that has all of those files in order to uh, port the map and create a Rome Remastered mesh using the IWTE tool. Okay, so uh, I made this task utilizing the example tasks. Okay, and this task creates, uh, it, it generates the mesh for the map, so the models, the .cast files, as well as the textures, right? As well as the uh, summer textures. Okay. So I'm going to quickly explain that. Uh, just give me a moment here. Okay, so we're back here in File Explorer. And when we go to Map Mesh, this is where I have my winter tasks. So I actually have separated out the tasks. All these tasks are in the example task processes. Okay, and if you need help, you can ask me on Discord for this. But I have different tasks for winter, for uh, normals. This, uh, the normals are for the uh, normals texture files that Rome Remastered uh, needs. And it, it gives the map a little more depth to the, it gives the textures a little more depth and it's nice. And then the summer albedos, which generates uh, textures, summer textures and winter albedos generates uh, the winter textures or I'm sorry, this, these actually convert the albedos to, uh, from TGA files to DDS. So when you convert the files from TGA to a TGA.DDS, what it actually does is it generates a uh, MIP maps and stuff. And it makes it so that people who have the game on different settings can actually, uh, improve performance by utilizing lower quality versions of the textures. Okay. If you don't do these two tasks, uh, the game or the, the game still loads and it works fine, but uh, users that change settings won't notice a difference. It will not actually change any settings. Okay. So uh, one thing, one thing you need is you need base textures. You need base textures and base textures win. So base textures is for the summer textures. Okay. For the map and then base textures winter are the same textures, but just for winter. Right, so that gives the map a different look in the summer and the winter. Okay, so that's, and you need all of those, you need to point these tasks in the right uh, direction for the right directories to utilize the correct uh, textures. 
right? These can be your own textures or these can be the default textures that you get on the Total War, uh, Total War Center wiki. The default textures are by, or I don't want to say default, just textures you can use are by Makanyane, the famous uh, mod creator of several mods uh, back in the day, including uh, End of Days 1 and 2, along with Haley Satanas. So um, yeah, Makanyane is fully involved in uh, Rome Remastered modding, including the mod uh, Princes, Kings, and Heroes, which has helped me quite a bit with chivalry, including with icons and UI elements. Huge shout out to them. Now, uh, I think, uh, well, let me quickly mention that uh, all my maps have generated in the IWTE save folder here. Then you go to chivalry map and boom. IWTE uh, has generated all the albedos, which include the TGA files, and then my converted DDS files are in another directory. So these are actually the chivalry map that you see in uh, Chivalry Remastered. Okay, uh, the map is created from these uh, DDS files, right? And then the, the materials are actually the normal textures. So these textures cre uh, give depth to the map which you do notice. And then uh, the output winter, so these are the winter textures, the textures you see in the winter. So of course, uh, yeah, you see a lot of them are white there in the preview. And then there are a couple other files, including River A Cass, River Mesh Cass, um, and Coastline.cas. And uh, those files, you can actually check out uh, vanilla to see where exactly uh, you have to place them. Okay, you uh, you have to place all of these within the terrain folder. You know, I'll just show you myself. Give me just a moment. All right, so we're here in uh, the develop uh, the dev version of Chivalry Remastered, and uh, the important thing here is that for the river a dot cast file, you have to actually place it in this unusual location. So you go to, uh, you have to place it in uh, data and then terrain, and then aerial map, and then tile models, and then river underscore a, and then river underscore a cast goes in this. Okay. And then under uh, campaign, I have imperial campaign, or sorry, I have base. And then in base, and then coastline, you put the coastline.cas. Sometimes you might have multiple coastline.cas files. If that's the case, uh, IWTE will generate the extra coastlines for you. You just put them all in here, and then there's a coastline text file uh, that you can find in vanilla as well. You just edit that to include all of your coastline.cas files. And then a uh, height map, you don't have to worry about. The pieces are where you put the mesh the dot cast files for all of the tiles. And then under textures, you put all the uh, summer textures. And I've actually put my normal textures uh, alongside here in the same directory, which is not a problem. You choose where uh, to point these things, where to point the game. And then you have the winter textures. And I, oh, I accidentally put the normal textures in both the summer and winter. So that is adding about several megabytes to the download, I will remove those. But in any case, yeah, that's pretty much everything I have to say about the IWTE tool. So it is pretty awesome. And again, huge thanks to uh, Wild Dog and to Makanyane for all of their help in uh, developing IWTE for providing support uh, I know I've asked Makanyane several questions about map generation as I've been uh, generating maps, including the Crusades map and the uh, Chivalry map and perhaps a few others. But uh, yeah, that's pretty much everything I have to say about IWTE. You can find it in the link in the description below and there will be a link to the textures as well in case you'd like to start porting maps and uh, converting models and doing other stuff in Rome Remastered or Medieval 2 or the original Rome, even. So, 
That's pretty much it for this video. If you enjoy videos about the historical Total Wars and their mods, consider subscribing to the channel, consider leaving a like on this video, consider commenting down below, and I'll see you in the next one. Later.